Wow. <laughs> and you'll have no context for why. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm AJ. And these are extraordinary times. Um, so apparently, allegedly, the uh, one the male founder of Pinkberry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the male founder of Pinkberry. Let's say that with a straight face. Uh, beat the living crap out of a homeless man who apparently offended him with a tattoo that was on his body whenever he was asking him for, or the homeless man was asking uh, Young Lee for money uh, on the highway. And uh, Young Lee and his friend that was in his uh, rented Range Rover, because apparently he can't afford to own a Range Rover, but he can afford to rent a Range Rover. Moving on. Pulled out a tire iron and uh, went, chased the guy down and beat the snot out of him. Uh, with, somebody else, with, with somebody else. Who, uh, uh, with somebody else. With his friend who was in the car. And um, Th This guy is a kickboxer. I mean, <laughs> former... Former kickboxer, CEO of this major company, founder of this major company, and he's going to beat a homeless guy with a tire iron? What the heck? <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to sum it up for you. Despicable human being is despicable. Moving on. Pretty much. <laughs> really kind of upset about that. Fortunately, uh, right before we move on, he was... Um, caught there were witnesses that wrote oh, down the, the it was it was on a very busy road like an intersection off of the 101 highway over in the LA area so yeah Nobody everybody everybody saw it he's totally screwed uh, yeah whatever all right like there there's there's certain things that that I would I would justify beating someone down for you know rape. Or, you know, you know, you know, bad things. Yeah. Tattoo. I've seen some offensive tattoos. Whoa. Who cares? You can look away. You yeah. could drive off. Exactly. Drive yeah. off. Don't drive over. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, um, to something completely unrelated. Um, and now for something completely different. Don't kill us. <laughs> Mars rocks have fell on Morocco. It turns out some asteroids that uh, fell on the, the country a little bit ago, back in the summer, uh, originally came from Mars. Hey. What the heck? <laughs> oh, they, they've traced it back. Evidently, a long time ago in Mars's history, it was hit by something really big, which jettisoned rocks out into space, which have periodically hit the Earth. Um, the fact that they found these rocks, though, and have identified them through different methods that they have, link you to the article, there's you know, specific ways they can do that. Um, actually, pretty cool stuff. There are some very unique things about Mars that we really need to learn about before we try and get there, which we are trying to do, if that's news to you. Um, anyway, just the, uh, the fact that they found it, researching it, cool. Who knows? They may find uh, you know uh, um, some evidence of life or something. Who knows? After it passed through the atmosphere and uh, you know, it could happen, fossilized. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> ever seen, Either ever, way, ever seen something fall through the atmosphere? It's on fire, fire. Things can survive <laughs> in the metal. Movies show us this. Anyway, <laughs> movies really, really. Either way, Mars fell in Morocco. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> Rocks fall, everyone dies. <laughs> and if you get that reference, you're one of three people in the world who get that reference. <laughs> Anyways, love you. Um, miss you already. Come back uh, to us. Anyways, what? Um, words. Stuff in the sky. <laughs> Stuff in the sky. So you, you keep trying to produce segues, and it, it, half the time it works, and half the time... It's I, funny. Actually, it's funny all the time. I'll be honest. All right. Anyways. I <laughs> wow. You're the only one here half the time. Okay. Um. <laughs> Did say that to myself? No. <laughs> all the time. Anyway. <laughs> so, speaking of things in the sky, um, as awkward for me as it was for you. <laughs> uh, uh, we we mentioned, I think, a few weeks ago, months ago, that uh, the U.S. lost a spy drone in Iran, and uh, uh, Tehran has been, you know, asked very politely by uh, 
President Obama to return this spy drone. <laughs> yeah, that's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, you know, he, he's the Obaminator. He, he you know, gets stuff done now. Actually, uh, Ahmed in a jacket really kind of told him, uh, shove it. Uh, and then, apparently, he has a sense of humor because he turned over uh, the at least physical specs of it to an Iranian uh, art firm, art group, who uh, produced, uh, are, are producing now, little 180th uh, size models of it. And they have them on little pedestals, clear pedestals that have in their language the phrase, and I quote, we will put America under our feet. Um, in addition to this, the uh, the spokesperson for this Aya art group has said, uh, in reference to President Obama, he said he wanted it back, and we will send him one, a pink one. Yes, you heard that right. A pink model spy drone with the words, we will put America under our feet, has been reserved for President Obama. Because he asked so nicely. Because he asked so nicely. Um, <sighs> wow. Who I, thought this was going to work? Who thought just asking for it was going to work? You know, Obama, I can kind of see him saying that, but obviously someone had to have suggested it to him at some point, or at least said, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past him to have it be a unilateral decision. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, he he has faith in the man. I have less. I have a little bit. He is our president. He does have advisors who should have all one and the same said, "No, that's a bad idea." But in my mind, him coming out and saying this means at least one said, uh, "Yeah, go ahead, do it. See what happens." <laughs> <laughs> giggle, giggle, giggle. <laughs> Anyways, I'm <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted today, uh, pretty much all around. Uh, uh, little side note: Iran's also saying they're going to uh, shoot torpedoes at our American ships ships that are in the Strait of Hormuz right now. You know the ones that've um, been saving fishermen. Yeah, deploying just, dolphins. And, oh man, <laughs> relationships with this country are going down. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not looking forward to uh, coming uh, events with Iran. <sighs> anyway, something a little fun to to sh shove your way. We're gonna put a link right up here for a uh, a video of a crow sledding down a house in Russia. It's kind of fun. Uh, we wanted you to watch it. Videos. You can't deny it's what it's doing. Uh, it's got the little lit and just slides it, and it does it multiple times. Uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> and as always, we need your stories. Please send us more stories. We love when you do, and we sometimes will... things get a little slow. We like to find something a little bit more unique. Sometimes you get a little slow. Anyway, sometimes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I haven't gone along with one of my jokes. Oh, wait, you do it every time. Anyways. Really? I have to go back and check. You should go back and check. Yeah. That way. That, 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 that over way? there. That was the next one. That was the next one. That was uh, today. Check there. Okay. That one's, that one's subscribe. Do it. And like. Wait. Like? Yes. Favorite? Right. Share. Send two favorites. And Repeat. watch later. Repeat two. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Replay. Replay. All right. Before we get sued anymore... That's AJ. That's Jeremy. <laughs> and these are extraordinary times. You wear. Oh no! <laughs> you didn't click stop. Yes, I did.